the condition because they got to talk about it. What are you talking about? Um, there's a lot of talk now how this does not, the Benghazi does not rise to the level of Watergate by Democrats. What in the world is all that about? Uh, I mean, they've got, they're, actually, they're, just okay, got, yeah, that's they're, because Watergate Yeah. That, got, okay, that's over and done with. Benghazi It was a robbery is all it was. Watergate. It was a it was a robbery. Is there no one much got hurt. different. The people got killed. Yeah. But the very fact that they feel the necessity to keep telling people it doesn't rise to the level of Watergate, because they're now they're flat out talking. Um, I think was it um, they asked Obama what sen so the senators asked him to resign today. Oh, they did. Uh, members of the House are talking about impeachment. Re members of the press are now talking about impeachment. And, they've been talking about that for a while. No, but they're so really, really talking paying about it. Difference. Then now the difference is is now they've added to the fact that Obama's people lied again. They 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 sent out the head of the IRS uh, enforcement division saying that as soon as we found out that uh, they uh, were uh, going after conservative uh, conservative groups. Uh, they, and they started targeting them to harass them before the election. Well, it turns out that in the new, new information, okay, what happened is the networks that basically that love the president are now going after his ass. Mm -hmm. They found out that the, uh, uh, the an investigation was done, and the same person that said that there was no truth, there was no truth they were targeting, said a year earlier that they had found out that they were targeting these groups and that they would look into it. Um, so the, the a year, uh, when the election campaign started, Obama's White House ordered, this looks like what they did was ordered that anybody that was going to stand against him would be targeted. He has a massive what? enemies list now, just like Richard Nixon. Well, there's a similarity for you. Yeah, but they are talking, uh, was it Bill O'Reilly got pissed off at Mike Huckabee mm -hmm. for talking about impeachment, and Bill and then he just simply put Bill O'Reilly in his place. He asked him... Uh, he said they impeached George, they impeached uh, 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 Richard Nixon because some people bungled a robbery. Uh, the president of the United States is involved in a murder, and he said, "Well, the president basically we can't prove he had anything to do with it." He, he said, uh, "He said, uh, you know, the difference between you, Bill, and me is I actually have a, I used to be a, a federal prosecutor, and I can tell you there's a little thing called before, af before, during, and after." If he proceeded to cover up what was done, he then becomes guilty of the same crime of the people that did the murdering. And since he knew in advance from what we've been able to find out that this was likely to happen, he then becomes an active participant in the murder of these individuals. And then he participated in a cover up of doing of it. And then he is trying to be threatening anybody that Because that was a downright crime. murder. They murdered four people. Yeah. They, uh, they also know, um, uh, let's see, uh, it was a, my couple we said, also as the governor of the state of Arkansas, I was also the, the de facto military leader of the state's militia and National Guard, of which you have never had any, uh, you've never been in the military, you don't know how it works. He said there can only be one person that can give an order to stand down. That in Arkansas, it was me. In the United States military, it is the President of the United States is the only one that in a wartime situation can give an order to stand down. So I said, this is not like, this is not uh, similar to Watergate, and it is irrelevant whether he, they said it doesn't make any difference whether he knew, uh, knew anything about it. He is participating in a massive cover-up, which makes him guilty of the same crime that they had. And he said, that is impeachable because it is a high crime misdemeanor to lie to Congress to, you know, that, that they said it's, uh, I guess even what yesterday Geraldo Rivero said, it's not the crime that gets you tossed out. It's the they feel the necessity to cover up what was done. Well, that's what happened, I mean, with Watergate, that's where they got in trouble was the cover-up. Then the Supreme Court threw all the convictions up. I mean, if it would have been, okay, so there was a burglary. I mean, not that, okay, not that burglary is not a big deal or what the whole situation. It was just a burglary, which but, basically because what happened was, was uh, McGovern was, I think, hiding the fact that he had a, a son that wasn't exactly acknowledged. And they found that out. And uh, they broke the, what happened was they, uh, uh, Nixon had nothing to do with the original thing, but Nixon had stuff to do with that his people underneath him in the White House started covering up 
what was going on, and that's what caused the problem. This is but again, this is an entirely different situation because yeah. well. Well, I also heard that, that last night that you can expect things are going to get worse because Obama is a Chicago politician. When they uh, he is backed into a corner, when you back a Chicago politician into a corner, then they get very mean. They said he's mean and nasty to begin with, but he is going to get meaner and nastier. And you can, I mean, one of the senators said, I can expect it. I'll have threats on my family and myself. Oh. But here's how you do it. it it's a very simple primer. My father would, my father, um, actually my father was in a, a movie in the 1940s after he came back from World War II, a film noir movie, where they had a politician that would basically like, the President of the United States, and he simply told the politician on radio live, he said, um, simply, the, this is my father's lines, he said, if you come after me, I'm going to see you're charged. If, you, if anyone that you know of comes after me, you're going to be charged. He said, anyone that even likes you comes after me, you're going to be charged. He said, if you come after my family, or anyone of I know of, or anyone that even likes me, you're going to be charged. He said, it doesn't make any difference whether I can char whether I can bring you to court now. There'll be a day you're no longer protected by the, uh, by the political system. I'm going to put your rear end in a jail cell, which he didn't actually say rear end. He said the other word. And that was the lines my father had in it. That's what you do. If the President of the United States comes after you, which is you tell him that uh, if, if you come after me or my family or anyone I know in any manner, shape, or form, you're going to be the one that's going to be charged. They're going to say, well, it's harassment. No, said it's not harassment. That's basically, it, mm -hmm. it's not a threat if it's a, pro, if it's a promise. Mm -hmm. Threats and promises are too different. The legal system works. The legal system is that justice is blind and has a double sword to cut both ways. I also have a degree in law, folks, which is a good thing. Uh, but um, the problem is, you have to make it understood that if he retaliates, that you just simply use the legal system. You don't get mean, you don't get nasty. You just simply use the legal system. Every time somebody does something to you, you charge him as a co-conspirator. Mm -hmm. Because they're doing it in his behalf. And mm -hmm. he's gonna have to come out and basically denounce. Right now they said his biggest problem is he has totally refused to denounce anything that's been done, nothing. The, uh, he, uh, McCain demanded, uh, McCain is demanding an independent prosecutor to see just how far up it goes into the White House. And they're demanding, uh, Bonyard is demanding emails that the president was doing. They're not national defense things. They're emails that they already have access to, but they can't use because he declared them uh, a problem with national security. So you can't use them. So, but um, Obama's got himself, I always knew that the Democrats would bounce when uh, they said if things, a second term president generally has problems. There's very few su successful second term presidents. This was an unpopular first term president, totally unpopular. He has a health care system that even the Democrats now say not going to work. He has to have hundreds of billions of dollars of money to put in the thing. Well, we'll get, get this morning. Was the morning. He actually is asking businesses to contribute money to put, since the Republicans will not fund it, I would, you know, I need business, supportive businesses in this nation who are cutting back on hours, cutting back on health, to contribute the money necessary for implementing the, the Affordable Health Care Act, which isn't affordable. So um, he's, he's losing on that ground, he's losing on immigration, he's losing on gun control. He's and filling the pressure. He's filling the pressure, he's being backed into a corner, and the Democrats are holding Benghazi mm -hmm. over him and they will use, they will put Biden in his place, is that well, simple? Well, Hillary tried to sweep it away. And because... Uh, and because she tried to sweep it away. No, what will happen is Hillary bill will not fall on the sword for this president. He will simply said that she, as Secretary of State, she was under orders from the President of the United States to say these things to the American people. Well, that's and, one of the uh, smartest things I'm hearing coming out of Bill yeah. on this, because Hillary should have never have let him walk away with that nomination. Well, no. She, uh, what happened was they got scared mm -hmm. uh, about him pu you know, pulling the race card on Bill Clinton and Hillary. And, uh, and because, well, you know he's from Arkansas, and you know the problems that Arkansas has had with integration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that was another time, a long time ago. That was a long time ago. But he, he, he pulled the race card. Right now, his friends in the House and Senate and on MSNBC are all pulling the race card. 
Well, if he was a white president, they wouldn't be doing this. Well, yes, they would. Yeah, they would. In fact, if they, he was a white president, they would have gone if after him If he was more. a disliked white president, they'd be going after him. If he him. was George Bush. Yeah. Now, George Bush is doing better now, but if he was George Bush oh. in his second term... Now, now, okay, George Bush is public. Uh, his his uh, the likability is higher than Obama's now. It's mm -hmm. actually higher than it was during his but second it, term. So, oh, is it? Way, it's good. Higher. Yeah, because the second term always lame ducks. Well, because it, you can't get anything done. They said that Obama has now went through um, uh, February, March, April. He's went through his hundred days. They only have a hundred days to get things done in the second term. He's went through it now, and he's nowhere because. Republicans in the House are not going to give him gun control. They're not going to give him any more money. Well, he, he, what that, he did was he retained the office for another term. Yeah, he retained the office, but they're going to say that he retained, he basically uh, used the deaths of four individuals. To, he buried mm -hmm. the death of four people in order to stay in office, mm -hmm. which makes him, uh, what was one of the people said yesterday, one of the Democratic, one, he had a big Democratic supporter who said that, I knew I shouldn't have voted for uh, uh, voted for this man a second time after he let it down the first time, but I couldn't see myself voting for, you know, he basically called him an old fart Mitt Romney. That's the problem. That's the problem with he, the Republicans. They keep <laughs> out trying to nominate old people. Like, would you nominate him for president? I, no, nobody my age would vote for me. No, <laughs> None of the people my age voted for Mitt Romney. They do not want somebody... They want, a, they want a young person to be running the country. They do not, because what happens is, is that there's so many people my age out there now, they know that once you reach a certain point in your life, it doesn't make any difference if you're capable of doing the job. The strain is completely different on mm -hmm. you the older you get, because it becomes harder to concentrate to get, okay, little injuries don't go away. Your, um, you know, the things that oh, a that young guy does without even thinking about, like he falls down, hits his knee, that's no well, big the deal. The job of a president is very, well, it's very demanding. If you look at the ages of the presidents, when they go into the office versus when they come out of the office, they always have a lot more gray hair, unless they're dying. In. Reagan was the only guy that came out looking as good as he went in. Oh, but he was older to start with. That he'd already... He'd ended, already... He'd already... Well, he, he, got, he was an actor. He had all the actor secrets. Yeah, he knew about... He Basically, Reagan made certain that he stayed. He did the same thing the day he came out of office that he did the day he went in, which was he was athletic. He always did the athletic stuff. Uh, and Obama isn't... Playing golf is not what you consider athletic. Going out and chopping wood, cleaning up... Oh, could the you imagine property, sitting there? All day. He'd be out there for hours... Chopping, you know, that, cleaning the brush out. That takes a lot of... And that was his 70-some years of age. I mean, he finally he was dead end by his, his lovely, beloved lovely horse. horse. You know, the, and of course he got from the Mexican president. He, it threw him and he hit his head and he finally succumbed to Alzheimer's. He was also Aww. like 90-some years old, too, so... Yeah, at 90 years old you're going to succumb to something, right? They, you know, it used to call it senality when I was younger, but no. The Democrats are waiting to... Okay. The, the, this morning, they were, Carney was after people again, and I was listening on the news. Uh, one of the Republican congressmen is going after Obama in the House, who used to be a federal prosecutor. Um, he was a federal prosecutor under Bill Clinton. He was appointed to the office by Bill Clinton. He said, was, I tend to be somewhat non-biased when it comes to people. Like, he said, I go after everybody, race, sex, religion, or politics. I go after them evenly. And he said that... Um, uh, what he said was that, uh, that, that yeah, I wanted to point out to Carney, he said, uh, our man didn't ask any of those questions of Mr. Carney. Our man this morning did not ask those questions of Mr. Carney. This was ABC News, this was CBS, this was CNN, this was Associated Press, this was Reuters, because they wouldn't call on our people anymore. These were their people asking the questions that should have been asked before the election. Because they it said the information, what was it, what did, uh, the guy said, the prosecutor this morning, he said the very day that it happened, a Republican ha member of the Senate, House, uh, a House Intelligence Commission was sent the emails. Since that day, he has faithfully did his job as, as he's been as he ordered to do. It was declared national security stuff, and his people didn't leak a word of it. He said the leaks about all this material coming from the White House. <laughs> he said because there are people, and there, he said there are good, 
there are good lifetime employees working for the White House that don't like the way things are being done. Well, I mean, we're hearing leaks that never should have been coming out of the White no. House. The White House basically is supposed to be never secure. Be. Yeah. Like I'm assuming they, they said they're assuming the fire in the West Wing yesterday was done to destroy. Yesterday? The yeah. They, but the assumption is. This, was, wait, that's the second time. Remember the other yeah. time that they denied? Yeah. But, so yeah, there was yeah. a fire yesterday? Yeah, they said that they assumed the fire was there to get rid of material. Mm. So, because... Uh, Why do they have shredders? Uh, I know, the shredders don't, but they, they destroy the shredders. And then they said they think there was a fire in a shredder. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it wasn't, they weren't shredding any important material. Of course they were. No, but it, uh, so it's like, but, uh, Spontaneous no. combustion. But the question is, will this president be impeached as soon as the Democrats are fed up with him enough? Because he, I mean, uh, he's just becoming a joke. He goes, you know, he, instead of being in Washington doing business, he's out on a campaign tour saying how health care is going to help young women. He's trying to save the health care because what has, have they declared on the health care? It's, it's, it's a train wreck. They have to have... Uh, well, actually, no about the taxes. The taxes before, just keep rising. Because really. on the health care, remember, they were saying... They were saying that it was a tax because then as a tax they could levy it, the, right? Yes, it, it, it is, people have to listen. The, the majority ruling on the Health Care Act had nothing to do with the Health Care Act. They did not approve the Health Care Act. They simply said the Congress of the United States has the authority to levy taxes and until such time as someone has been directly injured by the tax, you cannot challenge it in the, court, in the Supreme Court. But guess what else is that? They also, they've already ruled uh, that it's coming through the system back to the Supreme Court. This law is specifically all taxes must start, all taxes and the raising of revenue must start in the House. They did not, Nancy Pelosi did not want any part of it and she let the Senate push a tax through and then she rubber stamped it in the House. So, it's an, as it's a tax, a, it's it, an illegal it's tax. It's an illegal tax. What was, I'm, now I'm sitting there trying to remember because they've been calling it a tax for so long. What was the other thing? The Democrats are saying it's a, it's a fee. It is not a tax. The problem is the Supreme Court has ruled it is a tax, not a fee. Mm -hmm. And therefore, Obama's going to lose it there, which is why they're asking... You can't have it both ways. It's why they're asking people now, businesses, to contribute money so that they can put the health care reforms in there. They don't want the health care reform stuff. The, no business out there, even a democratic control business, they're cutting hours back. And um, they're cutting hours back and they're getting, they're staying, the smaller businesses are staying underneath the threshold. So the worst they can be hit is a fine and they know the fine's never going to happen because the first minute he puts a fine on somebody for not paying his health care thing, they go to court and they stop it for the next four or five years. Mm -hmm. It will never be done. The Democrats are going, they're starting to do now what they should have done to begin. Republicans, okay, the people wanted, in, they wanted health care reform. They did not want a new system. They wanted it reformed. It's the same thing as this immigration thing. They want immigration reform. They don't want 35 million people giving amnesty. They want it reformed. And that's not what's being done. And it's never going to get through the House. And if he tries to do it by presidential order, they'll go to court and they'll stop it. So he's, uh, everything he's trying to do, they said his, his imperial presidency ended with the Benghazi thing, all because he had made the asset, he'd been running on the asinine thing, Bin, Bin Laden is dead and Al-Qaeda's on the run. Well, they, no one can actually prove that Bin Laden is dead and Al-Qaeda's not on the run. Well, on the other part is even if they do impeach him, they can't make him leave the office. That's the whole problem. The Democrats don't understand that. Uh, they, uh, they can impeach him and ha they will have to physically throw him out of the office because the, the trick is the, only the House and the Senate can remove a standing president, but they've never had to take a president out of office. Mm -hmm. They can order that he leave, but there's nothing in the Constitution that says he has to physically stop being president. Could, could you imagine if you were the Secret Service and you were told to remove the president? That would be like go against, it's like you've been guarding the president and now you're told to remove him? Yeah. It, it, it's just... Well, the, see, the Democrats haven't got... They, the, here's the trick. The Democrats not... know Benghazi is the sort of Damocles over this president. Anytime they want to do cut the string, he's gone as president. But the Constitution provides no method for removing the president from office. It provides a legal system for 
his re, uh, his stop for impeaching him, but there's nothing in the Constitution about physically removing a man from office that does not want to leave. So do you think they're using it over his head to manipulate him? Yeah, he's in their back. He, oh, he, 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 they do that? He's basically there, he's, a, he's, he's out of charm of figure. He's a figurehead for Pelosi and Reed at the moment, and whenever they, whatever they're fed up enough with him, you notice that Biden is no longer opening his big mouth Pelosi anymore. I know Pelosi and Reed, you didn't say Boehner. I know, no, it's Pelosi and Reed. Boehner, Boehner basically, if the President of the United States said, you know, I think I'd like to go out with your oldest daughter tonight, he'd be, uh, President Biden, Boehner would basically have the Secret Service uh, bringing his daughter to the event, so. <laughs> Boehner is basically, in the, Boehner and um, 30 some Republicans are in the back pocket of Obama. But they're also going to be thrown out of office in the next election. And Maynard, mm -hmm. this is his last term, folks. This, you know, he's gone because he just capitulated to a president that was basically losing clout. Mm -hmm. What you do is you, um, okay, never, okay, the trick is when you say, we're going to shut down the government. No, it never shuts down the government. What it does, it slows down things, but the government is basically self perpetuating. It, it, yeah. The airline, okay. The air traffic controllers will continue to fly, the military will continue to do its job, the, the mail will continue to be delivered, the sanitation, everything will continue to be done like it was before. So it's going to be interesting. Oh, she's coming in to save us, which means it must be time to finish this one. She's contemplating. No, yeah. she's going to go around. So I, I, until we, we're, going to, we're going to keep you appraised on this because it is an important thing because most people, okay, a lot of the people that are alive today never, were not alive when the last impeachment proceedings happened. It was a while ago. Yeah. And she's basically, she's showing off. So, definitely showing off, isn't she? So, I know. So I moved that. So there she comes. The Montavious is going to save the day. Come over this way, baby dog. I know. She, she wants her best feature scene, which is her wagon tail. I know. Well, she likes to do that because, see, part of it is she comes up for getting her back scratched. Yeah, but she tells us when, any time that Monty gets on camera, it means that we need, she feels, she does run the company, you know. She knows that basically she stands just far enough off that she has to see something like that little tail wagon, see? And there's her head back in now. So, I know, like, the terrible, and she's a great, great camera presence. You know, she makes, she does, she basically also gets lots of, of kibble and dog biscuits and doggy treats to back out of automobiles. You do, Monty? Yeah, I got Monty some good stuff, so I guess until next time, this is old camp. And this is not a spring chick. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information? You can go to www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com or www.montybubbles.net on the net. Mm -hmm. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us while our daily news cast in 3D. And thank you once again for over hundreds and hundreds of millions of links on the internet. And Monty Bubbles, yeah. yes, okay, yeah. she, she's happy to see you here, of course. Yeah. Um, but come follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook for the Monty Bubbles.